And now, I would like to introduce my father, your 46th President of the United States, Joe Biden. In another world at another time, barely a month ago, President Joe Biden would have been the showstopper at the Democratic Convention. But instead, on Monday, he took to the stage for his speech more as a curtain raiser on day one of the event. He is no longer part of the grand finale where he would have had the last word on the last day of the event. That honor, of course, is now reserved for Kamala Harris, who will lead the party in the battle for the White House. Nonetheless, this was also Biden's moment as the countdown begins for him to leave the White House. So Monday night was a time for Biden to define his legacy. It's been the honor of my lifetime to serve as your president. I love the job. But I love my country more. I love my country more. And all this talk about how I'm angry at all those people who said I should step down, that's not true. I love my country more, and we need to preserve our democracy. In 2024, we need you to vote. We need you to keep the Senate. We need you to win back the House of Representatives. And above all, we need you to beat Donald Trump. And elect Kamala and Tim, President and Vice President of the United States of America. But Biden made sure that this wasn't going to be the Biden show. After all, it's now Kamala Harris in the lead role. Much of Biden's speech was about why Harris should be president and who better to bear character witness to Harris than Biden who picked her as VP and has endorsed her as the next Commander-in-Chief. Selecting Kamala was the very first decision I made before I became, when I became our nominee. And it was the best decision I made my whole career. We've not only gotten to know each other, we've become close friends. She's tough, she's experienced, and she has enormous integrity enormous integrity. Her story represents the best American story. And like many of our best presidents, she was also vice president. That's a joke. Kamala and Tim understand that this nation must continue to be a place of possibilities, not just for the few of us, but for all of us. But join me in promising your whole heart to this effort and where my heart will be. I promise I'll be the best volunteer Harrison Waltz has can have ever seen. So what's next for Biden at the convention? Nothing. Right after his speech, Biden and First Lady Jill Biden flew to California for a two-week vacation. In many ways, a deliberate attempt to fortify Kamala Harris as the new face of the party, a woman, a black woman, an Indian American who will lead the Democrats to battle in the elections less than 90 days away. For CNN News 18, Alistair D'Souza in Washington, D.C.